<laughs> I got a bird on. <laughs> What's going on guys? Donovan with Team Tate Outdoors. Today I've got a really cool and exciting video. The footage is kind of old, but the fishing is still really great. And we catch an osprey on the boat. How cool is that? Before we get started, go down there and subscribe to our channel, Team Tate Outdoors. Hit the bell of notifications so every time we put a new video up, we can get you can get notified. And hey, let's get right into this video. Yep, so it's a beautiful morning out here. Big old fish flopping right there. Yeah. We might be on to something this morning. Come on, folks. Stay away. So, Tony, what's the plan here? What are we actually uh, trying to do? What's the way we're fishing this? Let's see here. There's a fish right there deciding to eat. Eat one of these. Chad, we got out. We're trying to have a early sunrise breakfast. We're doing our absolute best to put a hook point in the corner of his mouth with extreme prejudice. <laughs> We're set up here on an old, an old shipwreck directly across from former first president of the United States, George Washington's house, Mount Vernon. And we're on the Maryland side of the river in about 28 feet of water. And uh, somewhere in the past, the boat, boat has sunk and, and uh, got it marked on the GPS. We set up up current. We're sitting directly on top of the wreck. And it just creates a, an eddy uh, near the bottom. And I think we have uh, marked a lot of big fish on the, the up current side, back there was just waiting for a big piece of, big piece of chow to come by. Uh, taking these gizzard shads and trying to, to spread them out. Got two baits in the, in the slack water and, uh, and two on the outside. The rest is all a waiting game, different, different parts of the tides. And, and uh, these fish, a lot of times, just travel in pods and they move, move through. So you know, left to right or right to left, the hits will start coming or be pretty random. Sometimes it's 45 minutes of nothing and sometimes it's 30 minutes of madness and you can't keep, can't keep two rods out. But it's better than a day at work. There we go. Got enough, enough shoulder to turn the boat on us here. I tell you what, fishing out here with Tony Shepard on Potomac River, it is something else. Oh. You hear the drag of that? <laughs> I'm telling you. Beautiful morning out here in the DC area. Sun, we ain't even seen the sun yet. Oh. Tell you what, if you come out here though, you gotta bring a rod with a lot of heavy line. I think we got 40 pounds on that there, Don. 40? Yeah. Uh, about to surface here in a second. Those are good ones. Here we go. Yes, sir. Tell you what. You ain't seen fishing until you've caught about a 30 or 40 pound blue cat in the Potomac River. All right, so we're gonna use this Berkeley uh, digital scale. And instead of hurting the fish, like Tony said before, him up. What is it, Tony? 31 pounds. 31 pounds. There you go. Bite on the back, back right, back right. Narrow it, buried it. Go get it, man. Oh, ran toward the wreck. Might be breaking off.
Nope. Do you believe that was one second too late? It's all right though. Tell you what, you come out here, you don't know what to expect. These fish are biting. It ain't no sitting around with a worm on a hook at the bottom. You gotta be ready. Tony, I don't know how much of that uh, big cats I can take. What you got there, Don? Man, I don't know, it just hit. <laughs> If you need me to get another rod up, let me know real quick. I don't think it's as big as the other one, right. but it's moving the boat a bit. Get this out of your way. Here it comes up. Okay, kitty cat. Now, for most people, that's a good sized catfish. But for us, that's like catching a minnow. Tony, what you got? Yeah, I got a rockfish. Huh? I think I got a rockfish. Really? Watch out, boy, he ain't done. That's a nice big one. It ain't nothing small. Come on, girl. That's definitely a nice size striper. You ain't gonna hold him like you like you hold a catfish. Come over here and net him. Come on, come on. That's a big striper, brother. That is a really big striper. I say he's about, he's at least 20. Also a Potomac River striped bass come up from uh, from the ocean. They come up here and spawn, and we just actually only come upon this one. But uh, that is a beautiful fish. Uh, nice big striper, 30, 31 pounder. That's pretty stiff. Out here, we're fishing out here uh, just parallel to Fort Belvoir Army Post. Big bite. And after that striper down there, we just don't know what we're gonna get ourselves into. But he is heavy. If this is just weight, it's something heavy, but I don't know. Oh. Don't strain your back now. <laughs> Catch 
Dude, well, that pole don't look like it's bending much, but that's, 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 a, that's a real pull. stiff, real stiff rod. There it is. Okay. Up 20s, 30s, blue. You know what? A lot of the time uh, when you're fishing out here, there's a big current, so everything feels bigger than it is, too, when you're in that current. I'll tell you what, if you want to come out here, you want to catch big quality fish, uh, a lot of them, a lot of weight, stretch some line, you go out to the Potomac River, get you some circle hooks, that's about three or four or five ounce weights, drop them down and uh, with some gizzard shad, you have some luck. We'll let this one go. There she goes. Huh? Wrapped up on the surface. Yeah. That, that daggum osprey, we have a bait out there, and that osprey is gonna dive and get it. I got an osprey on, I got an osprey! I got an osprey! <laughs> I got a bird on! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Y'all see I'm catching a bird. He's <laughs> gonna let go in a minute, man. I hope you ain't got him by the hand. About to that <laughs> Flying a kite. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bird. We got a bird hook. I'm sure. Oh! Here, film this. <laughs> Wind them in. Oh, hold it. Oh! Everybody comes right. Well, you know we're going to get arrested if they see this. We uh, can't. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't getting it back, man. Tighten drag down. Come on, man. This don't happen every day. <laughs> oh my god! I'm catching a bird. <laughs> oh, nah. Oh, shit. Oh, you're just, just, yeah, this is a record to know we weren't trying to do this. He went out there and took our bait hood to come up to the surface. Okay. All right, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh. Uh. He's not taking out much drag now. Uh. Oh, good night. Uh. Oh, I'm trying to help you. I think I'm going into attack mode here in a minute, man. Yeah, he got the, the hook or something wrapped around him. You gotta figure out what you're gonna do. I know, we gotta get him down first. Well, what we're gonna hope to do is, oh shit. We're gonna cut the line. Right, right above the, 
That thing's got sharp talons, man. I know. We're gonna have to net him. We're gonna have to net him and then unhook him. I don't think so. Hold this. Let me see the over thing. All right. So you saw the osprey. We brought him down. There he is, right there. Uh, he flew off because he flew in. He flew in. We got him to the boat, and uh, the hook had hooked in his one of his talons. He he stayed calm for us. He didn't try to grab us, and uh, we unhooked him, let him in the water, and he flew off. So. That just never, never happens. I don't know how often that's happened, but that was funny. That was funny, wasn't it? Full catch and release on a bird. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tony Zamboni. Got another fish on. Woo, son. And it, I'm telling you what, it's been moving. It was running. I don't know what it is. Big old striper. Big old striper. <laughs> big one. Big striper. He's a big one, Tony. He is big. Monstrous. Where's he at? Make sure he gets some good, good photos of him. 40 pounder. Oh man, is he. Don't let that drag tighten too much, man. We uh, right here, Tony. Come at me. I won't. I'll just lip him. Pull up. Pull up. The net ain't big enough. Pull up on him. Come on, Tony, grab him. Hurry. Uh, grab a hold of him. Don't let go yet. Dang. Uh, damn. Get the hook out. Get the weight. Pull the breath. Back. I'll tell you what, people, you have just seen a huge striper landed right here okay here we go we're gonna release just caught one to the scale it was over 50 pounds over 50 pounds with another great uh catfish hunt we just happened to land one of these 50 pound stripers so all right go ahead and let it go now try to hold it by the tail if you can well guys i hope you guys like the catfish video filmed that a long time ago that was actually filmed in 2008 on the potomac river i was actually stationed at Washington DC at the Pentagon working for the Secretary of Defense as one of his chefs um, like I said on this channel you're gonna find a lot of old footage that we filmed through through our life before YouTube really became a big thing and we're able to start sharing that stuff now so you, you'll never know what you're gonna see on this channel thanks for watching um, the catching of an osprey and a great catfish and striper video we will see you guys on the next video please make sure to go to like and subscribe and hit the note the bell of notification so that you guys can be notified we'll see you in the next video bye